Um, this diagram I will show you is a diffusion of NaCl. Before I talk about the diagram, I'll explain what the diffusion actually is. So, what is diffusion? Diffusion is the movement of molecules, fluid or gas, which move from the region of high concentration to the region of low concentration. If you see the left side on the diagram, it shows high concentration region. Then, due to the natural motion of particles, molecules naturally collide and scatter, and again, naturally move to the region of low concentration, which is the right side of the diagram. Um, the diagram you will see, like before, after my speech, is osmosis of hydrogen. So, what exactly is osmosis? Osmosis is a process which a semi permeable membrane moves to low water concentration from high water concentration. As you see in the diagram, on the left side, there's no sugar. But lots of water solutes. Therefore, the left side has a low sugar concentration but at the same time high water concentration. In the other hand, the right side is the other way around. In the right side, there is water but as well as sugars. Therefore, the right side has high sugar concentration at the same time low water concentration. The diagram I will show you after the speech will be isotonic, hypertonic, and hypotonic solutions. First, I'll explain about hypertonic solutions. As the word high, a hypertonic solution has a high concentration of solute, which also means that it has a low water concentration. Even though the solution already uh, has low water concentration, in the process of hypertonic solutions, the water diffuse out of the cell, so obviously the cell membrane will shrink. Second, I'll explain about hypotonic solutions. Unlike hypotonic solutions, hypertonic solutions have low, I mean, oh god. Now I will talk about facilitated diffusion. This diagram I will show you after I speech my speech uh, is facilitated diffusion. So, what exactly is facilitated diffusion? Facilitated diffusion is almost the same with passive transport, but it only has transport proteins which help molecules to enter and exit molecules. As you see in the diagram, the red squares are molecules trying to go through the proteins. But the proteins just don't go simply through the proteins, but go through a special looking shape, which is called transport protein. With transport protein's help, molecules are able to pass through more easily than the passive transport. Now, before I talked about passive transport and about um, facilitated diffusion but right now I want to talk about active transport so I'll, I first want to explain about sodium potassium pump so what is sodium potassium pump this pump uses energy to break down ATP it is called sodium potassium pump because it uses energy to pump three sodium ions out of the cell for every two potassium ions to pump in. This function lets the fluid outside the cell more positively charged than the fluid inside. Um, endocytosis. So what exactly is endocytosis? Endocytosis is a process of taking liquid or large molecule into a cell, they make them into uh, small membranes. As you see the diagram like that you will see, the cell membranes slowly take or absorb in the substance. 
make a vesicle around it, and then divides the substance into many pieces. That's called endocytosis. Okay, so we talked about endocytosis. Then what's exocytosis? Exocytosis is the right opposite of endocytosis. This already has a vesicle around the material, and the vesicle slowly is transported to the cell membrane. Then, as they are attached, the vesicle breaks and releases all the content. Now, I'm going to talk about phagocytosis. So, phagocytosis is when a cell membrane slowly absorbs the substance. Then, the cell membrane eats the substance and breaks it apart. Therefore, this process is known as cell eating. So, we reviewed about phagocytosis, so I will talk about pinocytosis. So, pinocytosis is when cell membranes not take up the substance, but instead take in fluid. Cell membranes slowly absorb in fluid and make a vesicle around the fluid. That's pinocytosis. Okay, so, like, ending my, like, video uh first would like tra like um summarize passive transport active transport facility diffusion summarize them and compare th these three okay passive transport what is passive transport passive tra transport is a movement of molecules across a cell membrane without energy input from the cell in other words molecules can travel across the cell membrane without using its energy Second, active transport. Active transport is a movement of molecule which molecules move across a membrane from a low concentration area to a high concentration area. Unlike passive transport, active transport chemical energy to transport proteins. Third, facility diffusion. Facility diffusion is just the same as passive transport but a little bit different. In this type fusion, transport proteins make it easier for molecules to enter and exit the, the cell. So it's basically upgraded version of passive transport.